Next up is 1.3, but that's just hold space for another instance, so I'm going to keep on going by. Ah, if you need more of a break from patriarchy, check out Fresh Air's awesome Gloria Steinem interview. That was an awesome interview. Okay, here we are on number two, represent the problem. Now, a lot of stuff that we're going to use to represent this problem is going to be related to stable marriage. So I'm just going to start by saying much of... SMP used. So the real question is where do things differ? <clears throat> so what does SMP have? Uh, it's got a set of men, it's got a set of women, it's got preference lists, and so on and so forth. Uh, one thing it's got is N, the number of men and the number of women, and that's going to differ. So no single N. And let's just say there's going to be uh, N M <clears throat> that'll be the size of the set of men, and I think we usually call the set of men a big M with little bars underneath it. And we'll also have an NW, and that'll be the size of the set of women. And uh, we actually know something about that. Um, I'm going to write it down here, but it maybe belongs later on where we're describing the constraints on an instance, what makes a valid instance, but it's very relevant right away. We've said a couple of times that there are at least as many men as women, so we can say NM is greater than or equal to NW, because there are at least as many men as women. Uh, so what else changes in that case? Well, the preference lists change a little bit. It's no longer the case that all the preference lists are the same size. Uh, but really, the spirit doesn't change at all. Before, something like our preference list for man I, let's say, uh, that preference list would be a permutation of the list of women, of W. And that's still going to be the case, and it's still going to be the case that the preference list for woman J is going to be a permutation of M. So... While it's true that the two sets of preference lists are different lengths now, nothing has really changed. So different length lists for men and women, but still permutations of the opposite set. And this is a good place to say um, we think everybody prefers to be married. That's just an assumption. Assume all men, women prefer any match to no match. That was relevant in the stable marriage problem that they prefer any match to no match, but it's even more relevant now, because now some of the men are going to have to end up unmatched. 